evening, everyone. Making offensive, violent, even threatening comments on social media may be unsettling, but it is not necessarily a criminal act. This week, the Supreme Court heard the case of a man convicted for violent Facebook posts about his estranged wife, a school, and a federal agent. News Channel 9's Tammy Palmer tells us why their decision could make it tougher to prosecute people who make threatening posts online. In the world of social media, the power of cyber bullies raises questions about free speech and criminal intent. When I was younger, we didn't have that outlet, whether it was computer systems, your phones, it wasn't that accessible. Where now I think individuals growing up think everything and anything is okay to post. A Facebook post sparked a new frontier of debate in the Supreme Court when a man was arrested after writing violent rap lyrics online. Quote, I'm checking out and making a name for myself. Enough elementary schools in a 10-mile radius to initiate the most heinous school shooting ever imagined. Later, he writes, the only question is, which one? The Post, outlined in court filings, prompted a visit from an FBI agent leading to another post that it took all the strength he had not to pull my knife, flick my wrist, and slit her throat, leaving her bleeding from her jugular in the arms of her partner. Chief Justice John Roberts said, words alone aren't enough. Prosecutors must show true intent to make someone feel threatened. The man's conviction was overturned. It deals with some very interesting and important areas of of content and expression that are finding their way into new modern media. So it's 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 interesting as the first social media case at the Supreme Court. Maria, a college student, has never felt threatened online, but she knows others who have. I don't know how you would ever draw that line and say this is the point where you need to do something about it and call the cops or this is the point where it's just someone on the internet trying to make you mad. A question for a generation that's used to speaking their mind to the world online. Tammy Palmer, News Channel 9.